Hey guys, how are we doing? So I'm going to do a uh, talk on scales versus reflection and you're feeling good, all right? Because I think a lot of people are putting themselves under massive amount of pressure by constantly weighing themselves four to five times a day. So this is you up at the top, okay? And you're somebody that weighs yourself four to five times a day, thinking that you're going to lose a pound from the last toilet break uh, you went to by standing on those scales, you are greatly mistaken. And the problem that scales um, have is that they cause you a lot of stress when you're not really seeing any of the results. You're visually looking for that number satisfaction. It creates upset and creates demotivation because you're not really feeling like you're moving forwards. Okay, that makes you feel emotional. And when we're emotional, we start eating, drinking, and have low, to mo uh, low motivation. That emotional, uh, you need that boost because you haven't lost your stone from the last toilet break. You feel down, you feel demotivated, you feel like I'm putting all this effort in and I'm getting fuck all back. So that then leads to you putting on more calories and you're not on a calorie deficient uh, diet or intake, so your fat loss is gonna be with, uh, it's gonna be held back because you're gonna be piling on the calories and, you, and you're gonna start piling on body fat again. And you're gonna go around in this vicious circle and then become more emotional, keep doing the scales, we go round and round and round. So that's scales. Now let's look at what I think is the healthiest way to look at this because remember, we are not professional athletes. We are ordinary men, women who are dads, mums, working, stressed, real life. So this is a great way to look at things. So the reflection in the mirror, the feeling that you get from exercise um, and how your clothes are feeling. So these type of things you could train for a week or two and instantly feel great. You can then start building confidence pretty much within a week or two weeks, and then you can start feeling pretty motivated about your life, about turning up to a class and running around and doing the exercise and feeling good about yourself. That then creates you wanting more over a period of time. We're then looking at changing lifestyle and nutritional habits because we're getting into the, uh, we're getting into the routine of exercise. Then we're then looking to cut old bad habits and wanting more, which then leaves you happy. And happy is where we want to be, that happy medium, all right? We don't, we are not, remember, we are not professional athletes looking to train for a 100 meter uh, race or looking to go on a show to do a bikini where we've got to be super ripped. We're trying to cope with everyday life, but have a healthy and well-balanced lifestyle at the same time. So this is where this category or this column comes into play. Don't destruct yourself by um, standing on the scales four to five times and judging yourself because you've lost a pound or two or you put on a pound or two. You can lose two pounds by walking to the shop or going to the toilet, okay? Start putting the scales in the attic, get rid of them, judge purely on reflection, feeling of the clothes, and enjoy the process. Don't be put down. Fitness and exercise is supposed to be a fun experience, um, uh, routine, something that you do in your life to make you feel good, not to make you feel shit. Get rid of the scales, okay? Stop worrying about all that crap. Start worrying about this, and feeling good, feeling healthy, looking at the reflection uh, and, and, and feeling the clothes and changing those clothes sizes. Okay, I hope that helps, especially with the mindset. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments below.